have that few days. He went to Japan. 40,000 people in the arena. Nobody even mentioned that part. People, some people foolishly say it was fake. I'm telling them it wasn't. You know what? Somebody said that. Somebody said that some idiot said that. A lot of people I, didn't, I couldn't find it, but I've been so busy with yeah. what I've got going on. That's the dumbest shit I've heard. Why do you say There's that? nothing fake about any of that. Nothing fake about any of that. It was an exhibition. Boy went in there. What he was supposed to do. And, and made a lot of money. And made a lot of money, of course. Yeah. So because of this... Hey, no, no. Because of this great performance, people are saying he's coming back, and he and Manny at the basketball game. What was your reaction, first of all, when you saw both of them at the Clipper game? Actually, I was surprised. Because it was... Um, I was I was very surprised. Little do people know, we've been planning for Manny to be in the game for like two weeks. His father said Fred, he had uh, taken the lead and, and um, set everything up because of his Filipino heritage night. And um, it's one of the ideas that you know, Fred was already working on it. And um, so we just, as a as a PR part of the one one of the calls that we were on, um, he was informing us that he was putting it all together. Button everything up, and so you know we went back and forth with you know a bunch of stuff that how you know I never even thought about why what I think about you know any you know Floyd going to the game or whatever. But Floyd has a ticket to the Clippers and the Lakers. He always goes to the game, jumps on his plane. His plane is like a tap. He's always a consummate professional. He always. Uh, Push that working, and uh, we know that Marcus. I like that Marcus Brown is talking a lot of trash. I like that. That's a good thing. Marcus Brown for Olympian. Yeah, no, I, I, and, and a young fighter that that I've always had uh, great admiration for. He can fight. He, he can go. But he's bringing the draw to it. So. Yeah, he, he's a former Olympian. He barked up a little different tree. <laughs> barked up a little different tree. Uh, Bottom is the real deal. Yeah, you, you know, and, and Badu can Badu, he can fight. And he's been in there in big fights. I thought he got robbed three times in a row. Twice. It, it, it happens. It, 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 it happens. And, and I, again, I, you know, I've been a um, a strong advocate of his. Um, but there's levels to this. There, there, there's levels to this. Badu is good at everything. Everything. You know, he don't have any weaknesses. He's just a solid, great fighter. Um, and I, I think that he's going, you know, it's going to take an incredible performance out of Marcus Brown to beat um, Badu. We, we see. I know what, I know what Badu brings to the team. And I know what he's capable of. He done seen every style that's out there. Him being a side part is not going to make a difference. He's, um, I'll see, with the, the six guys that he's fought in the world, you count how many southpaws he's been. So the, his preparation, he has the right kind of spark. He knows what he's got to do on the big stage. You know, he just came off, he fought on, on Floyd's code on, with uh, the McGregor. McGregor. You, you know, and put on a, 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 a dynamic, yeah, put on a dynamic performance to be clever to win that. Win the title. February 9th, my last question. Devonta Davis, I've heard Mark. I'm sure it's sold out. Is it almost sold out, the venue? Yes, yeah, almost sold out. Actually, I'm having a conversation about adding some more food. Please, you know, it's this. Uh, Standing room only as well. Yeah, it's man, it, this is like. But this is the, uh, as I just uh, mentioned, uh, the tank takeover. This is this is his time, and and he's he's, he's very very giddy about um, what's gonna happen. You know, um, and the, the, the people around the world will get a chance to see what he does. And, and again, it's like I'll keep, I'm gonna keep saying it, and keep saying it, and keep saying it. That dude is special, and he's gonna be the biggest thing in this sport. And it, and it's the way he's gonna go about doing it. It's the, it's the way he's gonna go about doing it. And I don't care who he fights. It don't matter who he fights. We're gonna see the same kind of things happen in these fights. Thank you very much.
with all the brothers. <laughs> Nobody wanted to box him. And me and Floyd used to always be laughing because it'd be just like, and it was the same way with him. It was like, you can't get no work. <laughs> but this dude right here, fighting for your life. Brad, all the brothers. When I said all of them, all of them out the gym. Exactly. Nobody wanted to work with them. I've seen it firsthand. No, there up are, close and personal. Yes. In my life, there are a couple of guys that are in the gym that, that are great fighters, too. Yeah. You got gym fighters out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have fighters that fought in sparring. They didn't really spar. They wanted to be I ain't gonna lie. I used to get up like, who is this white dude? He's fucking all his brothers up. Yeah, you remember when uh, Roger kept getting the pop cans and he yeah. Yeah, put me on the spot. It made me feel kind of bad. You know what we do? So I was sitting there and I was sparring these guys and I, and I was doing good. I was really doing good. And I was young and everything and I was hitting them hard. Yeah, I'll just say that. And then every time the new kid, young kid would come in, there was a couple kids that they'd come in and he would take the pop cam and he goes, You smart in public? And they're like, Yeah, and he can take the pop cam, put it on the floor, go squash it, he goes, That's you. <laughs> and you know, you push me on the spot. I never, I never liked being on the spot, but it was yeah, that was funny. That's Man. It yeah. was it was like working with this dude. Now it was like Was this out of uh, the gym in Vegas? Yeah, it's at Tom Ranks too. Back when we was with them. In the 90s, yeah, in the yeah, 90s yeah, yeah. early 2000s. Right, right. Yeah, and it was like we were training out at our gym before we had our own gym. Yeah, yeah. this is like 03, 04. Yeah, 03, yeah. yeah. And, and so, like, all the fighters were coming in, and, you know, the bigger guys were working with him. And it was just like, and one by one, you would see him, he would destroy them yeah. in the gym. Yeah, weight, weight divisions was out of the limits at that, that, yeah, that time. But the crazy thing, weight divisions the crazy right. thing, these are all good fighters. Like, you know, I'm not going to call them names, but they were all good fighters that went on to become world champions. And this dude right here, this is my guy. Kelly used to go. They have to go back and read the program. You do? No, I, I, I've had to do it a few times. Yeah, a few times. I, I do remember those days. Oh was my God, days. that was that was fun. Those were great times. Them, them were great times. And I, I always tell people about that. Some kind of stories. It's just like I was like. Remember when Kelly used to run everybody out of the gym? Now, how tall are you, 6'2? Yeah, how special is it now, Mr. Ellery, to see people from the days that. Oh, yeah, what no, they he's had always been my guy. So we always had a, a cool relationship. You know what I mean? Like, we come up together. Yeah. Come, we come up together. And then to, to look at where you've been and how you guys started out and where yeah, you ended up. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. Long journey. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I mean, just uh, all the ups and downs. People don't really realize it, was, it wasn't a smooth ride. You did have peaks and valleys. Oh yeah, no. Again, we started out. We started out together. We, 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 we start, yeah. Um, and you did it easy. You know, it's, it's been uh, uh, like you said, a, a tough road. It wasn't always about you know what they see now. We got to put in that work first. Absolutely. A lot of advancement in sports technology, sports science. Yeah, I think you can eventually. Hey, or just break the fighter down if you want to be a knockout fighter. Reprogram or sort of. Always say just bless and just uh, got a good, I got a good work ethic, so I just you know, we just stay on the grind. There's a lot, lot going on. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. You know, well, he should fight. Uh, Given the contenders, no, he should be doing exactly what he's doing. He's at, uh, he's going. He's getting ready to be 42 in February. Well, that's what I said. He's ready to be 42 in February. If he wants to fight a defensive back for the NFL, he's, he should be allowed. I go, he don't, he don't owe the sport anything. The sport owes him yeah. for what he's done for him and the money that he raised for him. Yeah. He beat everybody. He's yeah. he, he yeah. can play whoever he wants. Put in his work. Yeah. He can do whatever. He don't owe shit to nobody.